overview on how to read word sums. When reading word sums, you need to remember that the base element, or just the base, is always spelled out rather than said as a word. Next, when you see the plus sign, we read it as plus. And lastly, when you see the arrow, it is read aloud as is rewritten as. Here are some examples. Let's look at the word parking. We have the base P-A-R-K plus I-N-G is rewritten as, and at this point you pause and you check the joins. When you check the joins, you're looking to see if any changes need to be made when you are adding the affix. So here we have P-A-R-K plus I-N-G. No changes need to be made to the base in order to add this particular suffix. And so P-A-R-K plus I-N-G is rewritten as P-A-R-K-I-N-G parking. The reason that we always spell the base word and do not say the word prior to arriving on the right hand side of the arrow is because the pronunciation of certain bases can change depending on the affixes that are attached to them. This way we remove confusion for students because we are spelling them aloud. Here's another word for us to look at. Let's look at the word easily. The word easily is made of three morphemes or parts. It comes from the word family with the base of E-A-S-E, -E, ease. And added to that are two additional suffixes, Y and L-Y. So in order to write this out as a word sum, I would say E-A-S-E -E plus Y, plus L-Y. And now I look at the joins. E's, E-A-S-E, -E, my base, ends in a final non-syllabic E. Therefore, I know that it is going to be replaced by the Y, as in this instance, it is considered a vowel suffix. However, because I am adding another suffix to the word, the Y is actually going to become an I. And this can be phrased as Y toggles to I or Y is replaced by I. And then we have the LY added at the end. Uh, the reason that the Y toggles to an I is because it is no longer at the end of the word. And when that happens in English spelling, we typically shift it to an I because Y and I are great friends. They help each other out um, in as we move forward with the suffixing. This would be read as E-A-S-E -E plus Y plus L-Y is rewritten as E-A-S, replace the E, toggle the Y to I, L-Y, easily. Don't worry if this seems too complex. The more you practice it, the easier it becomes. Just remember as you're working with word sums, the key points that we mentioned in the beginning. One final word about reading word sums. This is obviously just a very quick overview and um, Dr. Pete Bowers does a lot of work in this area. And if this is an area of interest to you that you would like to find more out, please visit his WordWorks Kingston website. It will be linked in the description below. Uh